Hey Patrick, are you tired of making the corner bed in our RV? I am really tired of it, and fortunately, I think I've found a solution that we're going to tell you about in this Midweek mid Update. update. Welcome back, everyone. I am so tired after three years of making a corner <laughs> bed in our RV. So I was excited when Pat Patty finally suggested we order a potential solution. Yeah. And we're going to tell you all about that a little bit later in this video, so stick with us. But we want to start off by talking about this past weekend. Yeah, we had some fun. We went winter camping yeah. for the first time. That's right. I don't know if it qualifies for two reasons. Uh, yeah. One, we stayed at a campground with full hookups and an indoor pool and hot tub. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah. And number two is I don't think it got down below, what, the mid-20s at yeah, night? Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't too cold. It actually ended up not being too bad. So sunny yeah. both days. Yes. Beautiful. And um, we had a really good time. We did. It was fun just to get away. Yeah, and I think the fir bit. first time you always do something like this where mm -hmm. you're not sure about how it's going to be and how it's going to work out, I think is yeah. nerve-wracking. But now that we've done it once, I, I don't mean, know about you, but I'm ready to go camping again. And I think we could try state parks or other places like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We were a little spoiled this weekend. <laughs> this campground, which we're going to show you all about in next mm -hmm. Sunday's video, um, but it had the nicest shower houses yes. and the sites were completely paved and we were able to park right across from the shower house, yep. which was also the indoor the pool, pool and the hot tub and yeah. the game room. Uh -huh. So, yeah. so make sure you check out our video 5 PM Sunday night. We're going to show you all about where we went and how our weekend of winter camping yeah, went. So yeah, I'm kind of, of excited uh -huh. to go try it again. Soon. I am too. Yeah. I think we'll have to. Well, guess what, Patty? I ran to the post office box and... Mail time! Mail time! <laughs> so do you want to go ahead? Sure. We've got three pieces of mail this okay. week we want to share with everybody. Okay. I took the card out already, but it's a cute little Valentine card. It says, Happy Heart Day. And it says on the inside, Thank you for your wonderful programming on your channel. Travels with Delaney, subscriber Leslie and Bob. Very and cool. And along with that cute little card came this... Cute little towel. Oh my gosh, look at that face. It looks so much like Bessie, doesn't it? When she's angry, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it says, all you need is love and a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So that looks just like our little girl. That is Thank cool. Thank you so much, so that nice. Is, that is that is cool, so. <laughs> all right, um, I had an envelope today. Uh -huh. And it came to us from our friend Bill. Ooh. Um, also known as Arizona Claim Jumper, okay. for those people that follow <laughs> our YouTube channel and read what the you... comments. But he sent us, and I'm not going to read the whole letter, but Bill, thank you so much. I can't wait to do a lot more research on this. Mm -hmm. He suggested I might want to hold off on reading it um, or, or sharing it until I did more research. But I was kind of excited about it. I said, let's just go ahead and show it. But he sent us a uh, sample of, it's called Wound Clot. And it's for your first aid kit. Mm -hmm. And what it will actually do, he says, it's a product that will stop bleeding, um, including arterial bleeding, without the need for pressure. Mm. And uh, the Israeli army includes one in every soldier's oh, first cool. aid kit. Now, he did say he's only been able to find these from a supplier in Israel. And you can see right on it, um, it says Israel... Um, first aid, yeah. And, yeah. and it says you can find more products there, israelfirstaid.com. Right. So I'm going to research this more, but I'm really excited about this because, you know, luckily we've never had a major cut or, or wound, right. but, but it could happen yeah. when you're camping mm -hmm. or something. And if you're out of ways, this might be yeah. a great thing to have thank in you. your first aid kit. So mm -hmm. Bill, thank you so much for sending this. And like I said, I'm going to do some more research on this. And I may be ordering some extra ones just to have yeah, on hand. Because, again, it's one of those things. A first aid kit something you hope you never right. have to use. But you need to be prepared. But you want to be prepared mm -hmm. just yep. in case. Yep. So, yeah. all right, you want to do the next one. And we got in the mail from our friend Randy. From, from Randy's Adventures. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to Randy or checked out her videos, make sure you do. Cute little card, Beyond Grateful. And she's thanking because Patrick helped collaborate with her on a video. Uh, when they compared her little guy Max to our uh, Tab 400. Yeah. So you it was a fun together. video to do. I love working with Randy. I love her channel. And Randy, you did not need to send a gift as a thank you for doing that. But she so. knows what you but like. But she knows what I like. <laughs> and I'm all excited because yes. we have never gotten these no. before. It's the 
Redbud Suds. You'll recognize the little bag. It came in the cute little bag. <laughs> the tiny little, what do they call them? They call those? this the travel size. Okay. All these little travel sizes. Five size. different sense of with a shufa and notice them. the shufa is the right size <laughs> for the travel bars isn't it cute yeah and these would be perfect like if you're traveling mm -hmm. you could throw these in your suitcase if you're flying somewhere or even driving somewhere or you can throw them in your rv well and, i could even um, think of only in our backpacking days before backpacking my you could you could have carried that yeah this would have been a uh, lightweight easy to carry in there um, for you if you're backpacker. So Randy, so. thank you so yes. much again. Check out Randy's Adventures, Adventures on YouTube. And then when you get done watching Randy's videos, go to redbudsuds.com yes. and you can check out all of the Red Bud Suds products, which we absolutely love. And again, like I said, we are not sponsored by Red Bud Suds. We just think that um, Aubrey's products are top notch yep. and it's a small business and we absolutely just love yep. her and mm -hmm. her products. Yep. And so, yep. yeah. All right. <laughs> so let's get into the topic at hand right. this week. For three years, we've had one of these corner beds. Yes. And what we mean by a corner bed is it's it's not a walk-around no. bed. I mean, you can't get to three sides. You have to crawl over somebody. Yeah, and normally with these corner beds, you have a half a side or three-quarters mm -hmm. of a side of access. And then the rest of it is against wall mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. And so you may have caught my video on how to make a corner bed. And I can go ahead and link that up top just in case you're interested. It's never a pretty sight, is it, Patty? <laughs> well, no. And the reason he does it most of the time is because ever since my, my leg accident and I broke my leg and I messed it up, I can't put pressure still on that leg. So it's just easier and for the poor guy to get in there and flop yeah. around and try and get So made, I've been so. doing it for the past three years, <laughs> and I really haven't complained, no. although there's times where it's exhausting well, and I dread mm. laundry day. Yeah. But on the way home from Texas yep. over Christmas break, Patty had a great idea. Mm. She said, you know, there could be a solution if you quit being so cheap. Yes. And we made the decision to go ahead and try out Betty's. Betty's. Yeah. That's B-E-D-D-Y-S, Betty's. But it's a play on bed ease. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what it is, is um, it's a complete bedding system right. all together. And it's to make making your bed simple. Yes. So, it's easy. Yeah. So we ended up ordering the, I believe it was the queen size right. in a kind of a gray. We chose just a gray yeah. um, and color. Mm -hmm. It was really a nice color for our trailer. And it was on clearance if i that's remember that's also right. why yeah. i liked it <laughs> so we went ahead and ordered it and when it came we were pretty excited yeah. but it's winter so we couldn't try it out so that's why we've been holding off on talking mm -hmm. about it until we could actually try yeah. it out so we did yeah so what you end up getting is think of it as a fitted sheet yep. but it's your complete bedding system as a fitted sheet so all you have to do is kind of pull back the corners and tuck that fitted right, part right down under mm -hmm. and once you do all four corners, your bed is completely made. Right. Because what it is, is there are zippers on the side. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you notice those zippers. They're nice. They have a really nice pull tag or pull whatever Which you call is it. nice in the middle of the night right. if you want to zip or unzip. And um, it's really uh, heavy duty. Yep. Um, and um, it slides real smooth. And the only issue I tried it with sliding is sometimes we have a, there's a flap to cover that up so it looks nice. You just yeah. gotta pull that back when you pull. I had right. to learn that. But it is so nice and zips so easy. And the bottom sheet that comes with it is your bottom. Right, so the bottom mm -hmm. is like a traditional mm -hmm. sheet. Yep. What I was a little concerned about was the fact that there's no quote top, top sheet, sheet right. by itself. Mm -hmm. The top sheet is in essence sewn onto the comforter. Right. But you want to tell them about that material? It's, um, a, I forget the exact name that they, they call it, but it is so, 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 so soft. Um, it, I can't explain how soft it is. It's really nice. Um, it is so soft and smooth. And what they've done is it covers the underneath side of the top of comforter. Of the comforter, mm -hmm. yeah. And then they've given you an extra amount of fabric that comes out the Kinda side. Kind of hangs over the sides. Right. So that when you unzip like me, because I like to have a foot dangling out. Um, because of my leg, I can't have it zipped in tight. So I always, I unzip mine, that way I can dangle a foot. And then you got this extra amount of really soft fabric that's covering Hanging you. Hanging over, yeah. So you're not just exposed to the cold or whatever. And I, mm -hmm. I actually prefer my side zipped up yeah. when I'm sleeping, but 
you know, and that's the nice thing. If you're worried about, oh, is it going to be like a mummy style mm -hmm. um, sleeping bag? No, yeah. you can unzip all the way to the bottom. So Patty had hers this weekend unzipped all the way to the bottom. And it goes my, halfway over my yeah. zipper. So I had halfway over her the bottom. Ha her side, yeah. yeah. And then um, his was all zipped up because he likes it that way. So, yeah. yeah. The, the material seems really nice. Right. And the queen size set came with two... Pillow shams, yeah. decorative shams that kind of match that the comforter, yeah. mm -hmm. and then it also came with two very nice pillowcases that match the bottom sheet. sheet. Right, and our sheet is kind of a really cool white with a black kind of chevron maybe right. type pattern, and that was really neat. It's perfect for me because I'm not big on flowers, so that's also why we picked it. So and then the beauty simple. of this whole system is when it's time to make the bed yep. in the morning, it's easy. you just grab a zipper and you zip it up and yeah. that's it. Zip both sides, throw your pillows up top and the bed was made yeah. in, in no, seconds. No flopping around trying to tuck corners right. and yeah, making it straight. Now so. putting it on <laughs> is still like making the bed yeah. because you still are going to have to crawl back in there and tuck it yep. under in the four corners. But the nice thing is you only do it once, yep. where before I had to do the, the fitted time. sheet, the flat sheet, <laughs> yeah. the blanket, the comforter. This is an all-in-one system, yep. and um, it, it's so far we're loving it. Now, we found out some things. Yeah. Number one, it is super warm. It keeps the heat. Yeah. It keeps the heat. So this weekend with camping, unbelievably, between our Betty sleep system uh -huh. and our Aldi heat system. And two puppies. And two puppies. Heaters. We woke up in the middle of the night <laughs> thinking we were sick. We were so hot. So yeah. we had to turn the Aldi down. Yep, yep. So that's a really nice thing. Yep. Now, I think we are a little concerned about summer because originally right. I was thinking there was going to be a top sheet right. that you could unzip from right. the comforter. And there is not. not. No, and yeah. maybe and, and maybe, maybe it will work. breathe in the summer, and um, but it's with our air, but but that top that sheet that is sewn in or whatever you it's call it, so soft. It is super mm -hmm. soft, mm -hmm. so. Um, so it's just a really nice product. I'm glad we had seen it on YouTube with other channels. We'd yep. heard about it. We kind of researched it a little bit and thought about it, and finally thought, and finally I'm like, let's just do it um, because I was tired of seeing you flopping around yep. back there. And I'm glad we ended up doing it. I think when all was said and done with the clearance price, yep. the discount yep. code, and the shipping and tax and everything, I think it was around $222. Mm -hmm. For us, it was, it finally got down to a point it wasn't about money, it, it was, was about ease. Yep, about how to get that bed made right. easy. <laughs> so now if you want to, you can go over to Betty's website and check out. They have lots oh, of different yeah. styles and patterns and that type of thing. I did reach out to the company about getting you guys yep. a discount code. Unfortunately, they told me our channel's too small to work with mm -hmm. as an influencer, but we want you to save money like we did. So if you go over to Let's Junk, morejourney.com right. Nathan and Marissa we've been following yep. them for years they're good people and they are an influencer yep. for Betty's and if you go to their website you'll find the link for Betty's and you'll save a percentage off of your purchase that's what we did so, so what do out. you use for bedding and do you have one of these corner beds does it drive you nuts uh. let us know down below in the comments and until next time everyone we'll see you on down the road good night <laughs>